Hi, how's it going? This is Chris over at 3D Palace, and uh, if you've been watching and seen the triplanar, let's just expand upon this. So, let's say that we've put our triplanar material in here, and you want to now add some wear and tear. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to pull across a curvature. Okay, so here's our curvature map, and I'm just going to drag that straight into our base color. Now, I've got to be very, very careful. I'm only recording at five frames per second, which is very, 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 very low. Very, very low indeed. But um, I've got no choice because Arnold will eat every resource this computer has, and then some. And I've got to keep an eye on things to make sure it's still recording. OK, now, from the radius of my curvature map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a noise. OK? And my noise is just going to be a standard OSL. And I'm going to output it straight to the radius, and you should see straight away, well, there's a couple of small highlights kind of appeared there. Well, that's great. That's a good start. So what I'm going to do is just double click on here and just increase the size of this so I can see it. And I'm going to change my low step to 0.35 with a high step of 0.45. Okay, so as you can see now, well, you can't see it in here because it's kind of got rid of it. There we go. You can see now we've got this much more defined kind of area going on here. Um, now, let me have a check. Got to make sure I'm still recording because this is why people don't release many video tutorials for this. This is a very powerful computer and it's still kicking its ass. I'm going to change this to 0.55 and now you can see that that's kind of a bit more blended there. And I'm going to change the phase on it, I think. So, see if that does. Yeah, there we go. The phase changes it nicely because it's going to be less even on that. And I'm going to keep four octaves because I think that's going to be more than enough, quite frankly. Okay, so that's all I needed for the moment. Okay, and now what I can do is I can take our material that I already had, which is just here. Okay, just keep them nice and tidy. And I can introduce. Uh, a mix to this. So if I go over here to my mix and I'm going to pick out a mix RGBA, okay, which is Arnold's native one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the top slot, that's our green, and then I'm going to run this down to our base color map. And as you see, it's now military green again. And I check it's still recording, and it is heart beating mad. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to put a second material in my input. Now I've got a couple of options, but what I'm going to do is just pull this down, make a second triplanar, and if you watch the other tutorial, what I'm going to do is I am going to go down to my basic coat metal stripped, which is here, and I'm going to pick this, the gloss, okay? Um, now if I apply my gloss to this as my second input mask, uh, again, watching to make sure that this doesn't die while I do it. There you go, you see it's mixed it. It's, it looks a bit weird, but don't worry, that's fine. And then I'm going to pull the output of my curvature map. And before I do, I'm going to make sure I've changed output to both, rather than convex and concave, to my mix. There we go. So now what we're getting is these kind of worn edges going on here. Now don't worry about those uh, little little dots there. All that is is the resolution of the texture I'm using at the moment for my um, triplanar here. Now I'm pretty sure there I can kind of change it if I need to and fix that but I'm not really in the mood for fixing it right this second. I just want to kind of present the information to you. And it's still recording so that's a real bonus. Okay, so um, that is how you apply basically a kind of a worn look to your material. Um, if you're not sure how well it works, or so it's just kicking in and I've got to make sure my recording is still working. However, there we go. And if I go over here and change my amplitude perhaps, and just decrease my step function to 0 0.4, which will just do that. And you can see now it's kind of picking up a lot more crud and crap around the outside, which is uh, what we wanted.
Yeah, that's just right, actually. I can see it now. Can you see there on things like this? Okay, so obviously what we could do is we could introduce rust textures if we wanted to. Plus, we have the um, added bonus of being able to apply things like, um, oh, what do you call it, height maps to this. So we could literally drop this into a mix on a bump map. And we'd probably have to go through a triplanar on that. But uh, let's see. Can I put this through as a triplanar? I might be able to. Let's have a quick look. See, experimenting in a tutorial is never a good idea, however. Yep, I can feed that into a triplanar and then feed that into a bump map. There we go. You see, and we can just feed that straight in. Anyway, that is how you affect wear and tear on a procedural map um, using Arnold. So I hope you find that useful. And thanks very much for watching. Uh, this has been Chris from www.3dpalace.com with a hyphen. You can also find us on patreon.com slash 3 palace or on facebook.com slash 3 palace or just Google 3D Palace. Okay, we're probably the first link. And until next time, bye-bye for now.